this time last year on this program we called Libya the not war because it right. kind of was the war that was not a war that we weren't not weren't going to do anything that war and then every day it seemed there was a little bit more going on in the not war and finally it was actually a war and we were actually doing things and now it appears it's biting them on the butt it sure is Chep. and you may recall that the uh, president announced while the Congress was on spring break that he had decided to participate in the bombing of Libya and quote there wouldn't be any boots on the ground I guess by boots on the ground he meant there wouldn't be any active duty military on the ground right. there were military in the skies and the planes that were bombing and there were intelligence officers on the ground guiding the pilots in the skies as to where to bomb. Bottom line is, as a result of that bombing, we, the United States of America, without a declaration of war by the Congress, in an effort to join the European uh, elites and, and the militias that were trying to get rid of the monster Gaddafi, not only destroyed him, destroyed his government, destroyed his military, destroyed the national police, destroyed the national intelligence forces, destroyed the local police, as well as infrastructure. Is it any wonder some of us have argued, Shep, that the so-called rule of law in Libya is now the rule of roving gangs of militias, at least one of which killed our ambassador and his likely intelligence agency colleagues. This sounds like the blame America sort of policy that, that uh, I don't know, that you don't normally want hung on your own neck. Well, this is a blame the Obama administration for well, that, that's, food. that's America. So this is a mess that the president has created that unfortunately for him two weeks from election day seems to be getting worse the more we learn about it. Mm -hmm. An interesting take on that, Judge Napolitano. Thank you.